Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash and welcome to another episode of my 1.6 Stardew Valley Let's Play. Welcome you guys. Today we are going to be celebrating two villagers birthdays and we are going to be of course making progress on our farm. I'm going to check the TV here first. It's going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Okay, so no rain. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce. What is the Queen of Sauce? Okay, cold slaw. Envision bland mounds of limp cabbage. We already got that recipe so we're all good there. In a previous episode, I think it was the last episode I was with you guys, I started building the barn. We're gonna have a barn with some animals hopefully coming in this episode. Uh, I also have some crops going. So things are looking good around the farm. I need to go take care of my chickens. We could potentially go give Haley some of these sunflowers because I'm pretty sure she likes sunflowers if I remember right. And then let's get these extra sunflower seeds planted and then we will just see what we get onto today. Actually, I guess I should remind you guys, today is Sam's birthday and it's kind of a big day because I'm leaning towards Sam being my husband. So I think it would be uh, a day we don't want to miss. We do not want to miss Sam's birthday. Also, my little log has four um, common mushrooms on it, which I think we need common mushrooms for the community center. And we also should go down and check the cave since we unlocked the cave recently from Demetrius. And we did choose mushrooms for our cave. Uh, instead of the fruit bats because the reason I do that is because you can always grow fruit trees later and I feel like they're pretty easy to get. Uh, it, it costs quite a lot of money but you get basically unlimited fruit if you just plant them in the greenhouse so you get them all the time. So I find it easier to do the mushrooms uh, since those only kind of come one season but I guess with the stump now <laughs> you can kind of get mushrooms at any time. So uh, what do you guys pick for your cave? I'm curious. Another little update I have for you guys is I did play one day in between episodes. Again, it was a really boring day. It was a fishing day. There was nothing exciting happening. Uh, so uh, let me grab this out. It's common mushrooms. Nice. I did pick up the mushrooms from the cave yesterday. There was just six common mushrooms in there. And then uh, I caught a Dorado. So that is one of the fish that we need. It's right here. I have a picture of it so I can show you guys. Caught it um, in the river down below our farm, just south of our farm. That was pretty cool. I uh, got it on actually my first try in the river. I went to the ocean earlier that day to go see if I could get a octopus and I could not freaking get one. It's been so hard for me to get an octopus, so I don't know what it's going to take, but hopefully it doesn't take too much more because I just don't know. I, we only have a few more days. I guess I think we can get the octopus in winter at the night market, so I'm not too worried about it. We can always get it next year too, and we don't need it for a bundle, so it's okay if we don't get one, but at the same time, it would be nice to get one. So I'm gonna gift Haley a sunflower today. And then I also caught a Joja Cola yesterday, which I know Sam likes Joja Colas. So we're gonna take that on over to Sam. Today's Wednesday, so Pierre's is closed. We can go check the bulletin board, but let's go see if we can take care of these gifts first. Okay, so checking the bulletin board just to show you guys, we have Sam's birthday today, the bookseller tomorrow, and then Demetrius's birthday on the 19th. So we got a couple of really nice episodes coming up here. This episode's gonna be fun with all the birthdays. And then in the next episode, you guys, we're gonna be taking on the Trout Derby, which I have no idea what to expect. This is a new event in the 1.6 update. So I am just beyond excited to go try it. Uh, looking for a diamond will pay a fat rate on delivery. Makes Robin happy to that. Yup. Uh, so we have a diamond. I think I actually have two diamonds, you guys. So we're not going to be wasting. We're not going to be wasting a diamond, I don't think. I love that I'm like running back home. I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go get these diamonds. Let's see what I have. If I have two. Yep, I do have two. I could have sworn. Um, I think I, think I found both of these in a chair chest no we found one mining i believe i can't remember anyways we're gonna take this to robin then we'll go see sam then we'll try to find Haley. good plan for the day i don't think i've ever seen a board quest that high so 
I am stoked for this. Another thing that we could potentially do today because, oh, I've got some new ideas to sleep on. Yay, yay, yay. Also, hi, Demetrius. It's your birthday coming up. I will give you a birthday gift on your birthday. I got to go see Robin, your wife. I, I got so distracted by Demetrius that I forgot my, I lost my train of thought. Robin. Oh, no. Where is Robin? Where does she hang out? Maru, where's your mom? Oh, no. Where would Robin be? He's got to be down in town somewhere. I'm going to go. I'm going to go check. Okay, I can't seem to find Robin, but Sam is more important to find today because it is actually his birthday. And we definitely want to. We, do, we don't want to miss birthdays if we can help it. I think I missed one birthday. That was Maru's birthday. Where the heck is everybody? I think Sam hangs out on the beach sometimes. So fingers crossed he's actually down here. Um, I do need to check my crab pots today as well. Because I filled them up. Anything cool? No, just trash, literally. Where the heck is Sam? So Sam does work at Jojo Mart. If he's working at Jojo Mart on his birthday, I'm going to feel so bad he is. Aw, that sucks. Hey, hey, you remembered. Now that's what I'm talking about. So Sam's on the clock. Better not get him in trouble. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk to everybody that's here at Jojo Mart. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Okay, okay. Hopefully this still gets us some friendship points up. What is up, Jody? What did I... S uh, what did you say? It's 4 p.m. already. My goodness. I still have tons of work to do. What kind of work to do are you talking about? Hello, Pam. What's up? Having a local farm is good for our town. Of course it is. Of course it is. Okay, it looks like Sam was getting off for his birthday, so that's kind of nice. Now I just need to find Robin. Okay, we're popping back in Robin's cabin. She could be in her bedroom. No, we were already in here earlier and um, yeah, no one's in here. I don't know when she would possibly be coming back or when she'd be standing here. Here is Linus. I'm going to give him a sweet pea and see if he likes it. This is a great gift. Thank you. Uh, you've already given Linus a gift. I didn't mean to give him two. I don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. Oh, I thought we were kind of friends. Linus. Oh, you guys, I'm such a dingus. Robin is on my farm. <laughs> Big Brain Nash was not here today. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually fulfill a request while she is working though that's curious why did i not remember that that's a thing yeah i uh under construction yeah i don't think oh i really hope i can fulfill this she's here working on my farm dang nabbit nash come on get your brain get your head in the game get your brain in the game any who's any who's i'm gonna put some stuff away it would be nice to find Haley, so i am gonna keep these sunflowers on me we can kind of put the trash away I'm curious if we should think about getting a recycling machine. I don't think that would be too bad of an option. A worm bin would also be nice. We don't have the gold, though. Coral sea urchins for a bait maker. That's pretty cool. So a recycling machine is wood, stone, and iron. And I think I might have a little bit of iron. Oh, yeah. We definitely uh, just need to get it cooked up. So let's go pop that in there and then let me see how much wood and stone I have. So we have a little bit of wood, a little bit of stone probably. Ooh, not too, too much stone though. We can go pick up some pieces around the farm and hopefully get enough. Okay, we got the 25 stone, got the 25 wood that we need. So now we just have to wait until the silver bar is done and then we have a recycling machine. And it looks like the silver is cooked up, so that is beautiful. Let's go ahead and get crafting this recycling machine so we can start... Uh, converting some of these trash objects that we find into some actual good stuff that we can use for other things. So occasionally I will just pop that in there, like pop random things in there. All right, I think we are going to turn in for an early night. I'm ready to move on to tomorrow and see what tomorrow brings. So let's go to sleep. I think we leveled up too. Yes! Holy cow, we hit a level five, another level five. So forester trees drop 25% more wood or a chance of doubling harvest on foraged items. Oof. Okay, this one is hard for me to decide on usually because gatherer is good, uh, but we need a lot of wood for a lot of things. I feel like we're going to need a lot of wood 
buildings in the future, upgrades, lots of things, especially decorating our farm. We're going to need a lot of wood. So I'm going to go with Forester this time around. I think if we want to pick up forgeables, we will be fine. The bookseller is in town today. Uh, so yeah, we're just, we're not going to worry about that too much. Anyway, it's going to be a clear and sunny day all day. So let's see here. Spirits are feeling neutral. If you know how to craft a lightning rod, you can harvest the electricity and create battery packs. These can be sold or used in crafting. Let me see, actually, if we can make a battery pack yet. Or um, a lightning rod. I don't think we can. No, it doesn't look like it. So definitely got a, a few more levels up until we do that. But let's head out and check everything. Oh, we have a blueberry harvest today. This is what I like to see. Okay, so we got a rock from our recycler. Uh, this is like the fun point in the game where you start to have all these different machines and things and they start making so much stuff for you. You have your crops that are going. So it's just like production is happening and it's so cool to see all the production around. Uh, anyways, we are going to, um, let's put something in the recycling machine. Let's go put one of these soggy newspapers. I think this might give us some cloth. Which will be great and then we are gonna go ahead and we are going to harvest all my blueberries this is so satisfying and my barn is done today which means we can actually go deliver that thing to robin that we wanted to deliver we are on a roll today guys sam's birthday was accomplished got blueberries to harvest we're gonna make a lot of money from this i think i am gonna go buy the iridium rod with the money that we get from the blueberries today and then I think I'm going to keep like five of these. One, two, three, four. Um, actually, we already have 20 in here. Let's just keep 15 blueberries and then we will sell the rest. We'll keep our sunflowers on us so we can give them to Haley. Uh, I do need to make up some lost time with her but since I gave her a terrible birthday gift, which I still feel bad for. <laughs> But I gotta do my chores. I do kind of want to go check out my barn really quickly with you guys, though. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be perfect for our future cows. Amazing. Maybe, oh, we'll get a lot of money today. So we should do that. We should set up the exterior for the barn and then go get some cows. Oh, man, all I'm getting in here is common mushrooms. I also do want to decorate this little area, but I'm not quite sure yet what... I want to do with it. Do I want to stick with my tried and true, what I used to do in the past? Do I want to try a different design? Not entirely sure yet. Okay, first things first. Oh, I got three torches. Nice. I did not know you could get that from soggy newspaper, so that's kind of cool. Okay, first things first. Gonna go harvest all my crops, water all my crops, and then take care of my animals. I will definitely be using these around the farm, so it's kind of nice to have. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all the star quality stuff, but we're gonna head over to Pierre's to do that, so might as well just hang on to them. And then let's go say hi to my little chickens. All right, so first things first, we are gonna head on over to Pierre's. Oh, also we gotta say hi to Enola. Hi, Enola, let me fill up your water bowl. There we go. Okay, now off to Pierre's. We got a little worm dig spot here. Let's get that, just a little bit of clay. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Anything else up here? No, not seeing any forgeables. So I'm trying to think with this money what we should do with it because there's a couple of things that we could do. We could do um, tool upgrades. Let's probably think about upgrading our coop. The bookseller is in town today. Tomorrow's Demetrius' birthday. Local largemouth bass population starting to threaten the species. Eh, we'll take it. I don't know if we're going to complete it today, but let's head on in in. See, Pierre, we could get the big backpack upgrade. Uh, so let's see here. 7,000, 1,000, 14,000. That is so insane. Oh, you know what we need to get, guys? We do need to get corn seeds. We also need to save up for just next season. Um, and, and all the things that we need to need to buy for next season. So hmm, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to do with our money. I mean, we could buy some of those really expensive books, but I don't think we're at a point in the game where we really want to do that. The books are great and everything. It's fun to go see the bookseller and see what uh, the bookseller has in stock. But I don't think that we're at a point where it makes sense to be spending $6,000 on a book. Uh, so potentially later on in the game when we're making some more money, 
But let's just see what Marcello has today. So buy bugs with bait and bobber, gain fishing experience. Okay, so these, the run a bit faster one actually does seem a little nice. Um, but yeah, like, I'm uh, 25,000 for books. Like, that's, that's so, so, so much. Yeah, I don't think we really need any of these. Oh, I should have brought the trade in. Oh, I have a book at home. You know what? I'm gonna head home and go get that book really fast. Completely forgot that he, he does trade in. So that is, it's nice to remember. I'm feeling pretty okay with how big our backpack is right now, so I don't think I'm going to spend it on that. We could also go get some fish ponds. That could be something we get started on. Or we could start unlocking some of the vault rooms and getting those parts of that bundle done. That way later, once we make money, we don't have to worry about that. So yeah, I got a Stardew Valley Almanac. I'm going to take that on over. I guess I probably should have checked to see if he was even buying Stardew Valley Almanacs, but I think he does. If I'm wrong, then we just wasted time. That's fine. While we're by the farm, I'm also going to head back really quickly. I feel like I'm wasting so much time running around today. I need to like pre-plan what I'm doing ahead of time, but I'm going to bring one of those common mushrooms because I know that we need it for the museum. So I think that is the only thing that I need to bring for the museum today. Uh, so yeah, we should be good to go. Definitely gonna go buy a cow though. That is for sure gonna happen with the money. And now that I'm remembering, that might take quite a bit of our money. I can't remember how much cows are in this game. Uh, so that might take more of our money than I originally thought. Um, I also do wanna go buy the fishing rod. Uh, so that's gonna be another kind of big chunk of our money that will literally take half of our money so i think that's the plan fishing rod iridium fishing rod and then uh, ca uh cow i guess all right we're gonna trade this in so pepper poppers okay so this is actually one of shane's loved gifts so we're gonna trade that in and potentially just go give these to shane we could eat them ourselves what do these give us they give us two times two plus on farming one plus on speed for seven minutes okay they're not bad but again i i do think they'd be a good gift for shane if we see him so i'm just gonna go pop that down in our gift section and then let's see what do we want to do we could always go buy the fishing rod tomorrow and the cow tomorrow Let's go to the community center, drop off this mushroom really fast. Uh, I'm I'm like, I don't know what order to do things in. You know what? I really need to give Robin this diamond. So I'm going to do that first. We have plenty of time to do community center stuff. We could do that at nighttime. There's, um, there's more of a time crunch on finding villagers and going to shops than there is, um, than there is going to the community center. Why is Robin never here? I will sit out here and wait for her because I'm not missing out on this like free 2,000 gold. It's not happening. 2,200. Okay, I looked at the wiki and apparently she goes to Harvey's clinic. Uh, so she goes to Harvey's clinic on summer of the 18th. There she is. So yeah, she is uh, walking home right now. Hey, it's that diamond I requested. I really appreciate it. Here's a little something for your troubles. A little something. 2,000. I will take that. That is definitely the biggest, most money I've made from a bulletin board request. So that's really cool. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know. Aw, that's sweet. Hello, Miss Penny. What's up? We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of life. Uh, I wish I could get lost in books. I am... Um, I have one of those brains that gets very easily distracted by just my thoughts. And so when I read, oftentimes my thoughts are not on the book. They're on other things and it makes it really hard for me to read. And I'm also not one of those people that like sees the picture of the like I can, but it's really, really hard for me to like envision the scenes of the book in my head um it's more like words like i just i just like see the words in my in my brain i don't see pictures that clearly it's it's hard to explain i don't know if anyone can kind of relate to that like i can i can sort of see the pictures but it's almost like they're like a silhouette and they're not 
um, like the full vivid bright scene like you would see in a movie. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know. Talk like this is very interesting to me. But yeah, reading's always been really hard for me. I get super distracted while I'm reading. I can't always like focus on the book and my thoughts kind of go. I'll be reading and it's like my thoughts check out and go somewhere else and I'll read an entire page and be like, what did I just read? Because my brain went somewhere else. Um, so yeah, reading has always been a struggle for me. All right, heading back to the farm now. We did pretty much everything that I wanted to do today, I believe, except for go and buy the cow, but we can't really do that because uh, Marnie's is closed. I want to make sure I water these because I don't know, some for some reason these don't look water to me, but maybe it's just the way the light's reflecting. Um, but anyways, I think uh, we are all good to go. I'm going to clean out my inventory quickly, just kind of dump everything away. Let's go close off this little gate because the chickens gain extra bonus points when you close that at nighttime. I mentioned that in a previous episode, but I'm pretty sure that's a part of the new update. So yeah, we have uh, one more day to go. Let's go ahead and go to sleep and see what tomorrow brings. Okay, so waking up with 17,000 is awesome. No level ups or anything, but it's going to be going to be a beautiful and sunny day tomorrow okay good to keep in mind ah oh, since we have a new viewer joining us from young stardew valley spirits are feeling neutral today okay good 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 ah oh, my wheat has grown today and my last couple of rogue blueberries that i i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why they uh grow awkwardly but they do i also put some speed grow seeds on these little uh, melons so I'm hoping that these grow a bit faster and we can get those those five gold quality starred melons that we need for the community center but let me go ahead do my chores then we are gonna head over to Marnie's and Willie's we're gonna buy a cow today and then we are also going to go ahead and buy the iridium fishing rod so I can start using baits I can start using bobbers it is gonna be so so good Oh, there's Anola behind the tree. I was like, I don't know where Anola is today. Um, she was hanging out behind the tree. Just chilling. Open up the door, let my chickens out. Let's go say hi to Beluga and Misty. And then let's grab all the eggs that we have for today. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I think everybody's good to go and everybody's happy around the farm. So now we need to go by. We need to get a, what you calls it? A cow. I'm so excited. I should probably get two of them um, if we have enough money. I might actually go ahead down to Willie's first just to see how much money we have left. Hey, we got a book. Woody's secret. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of wood so that we can make a fence post to go around our barn. Very important for keeping the animals all in. Okay, let's get to crafting. So we are going to need some wooden fence posts. Probably about 20 is what I'm thinking. We'll need a gate. Beautiful. All right, so let's just kind of come out from this side here. Oops, not what I was trying to do. Can I pick that back up? Awesome. And we are just gonna kind of come out and around this area here. I am really not good at putting these fence posts down. Kind of go awkwardly every, every which way. Okay, so we have this like weird stump that's kind of in the way. They won't be able to get past the stump, so I'm just gonna kind of build this out. And this is gonna be a super, super small pen for now. Make it a lot bigger later once we kind of build out the farm more. But for now, I think this will do the trick. Okay, and then I accidentally made two gates, but we're gonna put a gate here. Uh, and I actually know what we could do is probably put a gate down here uh, so we can get through if we need to make use of the two gates that we have so that is awesome this is such a small area i uh usually wouldn't want it to be this small but for the time being uh just to save on resources we, we can always make it bigger later and i do want to read this book so it says reading this book will grant some forging experience so i'm gonna go ahead and do that awesome uh the traveling carts in town let's go check and see that out while we head on down to marnie's Okay, anything good here at the traveling carts? Hardwood fin fence, salmon berries, melons, eggs, smallmouth bass, fiddlehead risotto, coleslaw, deluxe speed crow. Okay, nothing that we need from the traveling cart. So let's go see how much cows are at Marnie's and hopefully we can buy two. Uh, if not, then we'll just get one and start off with one and then we can get the second one later. 
Hello, Marnie. What's up? I would like to see if I can purchase animals. They're only 1,500? Oh, heck yes. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna buy two then. So, chemo. Wow, I didn't even think of names for our animals. Uh, Tenona? Ooh, Tenona is really cute. Oh, wait, I have a name. So, I have been really into... I mean, I'm always on the Harry Potter, but I really like the name Rubius. So, as named after Rubius Hagrid. So, we're gonna have one of our cows named Rubius, and then we are going to get another cow, and we are gonna name... Uh, fungus? <laughs> no, what are these names? Uh, what should we name our white cow? Should we have our whole barn be Harry Potter themed? <laughs> we could call her Luna. That's a cute name. Luna and Rubius. Great, I'll send little Luna to, uh, to her new home right away. Awesome! Hey, Sam, what's up? It's good to see you. I know he's, uh, doing kickflips and not really caring about what we're doing, but that's okay. Time to head on down and get myself an iridium rod. Oh boy, am I stoked to do this. It's gonna not only be our first iridium tool. Oh, we're getting a cutscene. We're getting a cutscene. Oh my gosh, and it's Sam's too. Hello, Nash. Uh, nice day, isn't it? Look at Vincent being a little cutie. I'm just keeping an eye on my little brother. It's good for him to get some fresh air on days like this. That's so sweet. Our dad used to take us to the beach on sunny days like this. That's so nice. Oh, oh, oh. Vincent heard that. He's probably like, when's dad coming home? Sam? Oh no. This is gonna be sad. Is dad ever gonna come home? Oh, his face. That is so sad. Oh no. Of course, Vince. Dad's going to come back as soon as he possibly can. But I heard some grown-ups saying that that all of our troops are getting shot to pieces. Oh my gosh. That's awful. Oh, look at Sam's face. Oh no. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't you remember how strong dad is? He never let a pathetic Gotoro grunt get him like that. Don't you worry. And always remember that mom and I are here to play with you if you ever feel lonely. Okay, Sam is a sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> oh, Vincent. Oh, what a sweetie. Oh, this is my future husband. This is my future husband. To be honest, I have no idea if my old man will come back. We've all read the reports. Our soldiers are falling by the thousands. But what am I going to say to Vincent? Yeah, that's a hard one. Best to be honest with kids. You did the right thing. Kids should have hope. Oh, that's hard because I kind of believe both of them. I think for the for right now, uh, you did the right thing. Yeah, kids should play and have fun while they still have the chance. It's true, life does get a little, um, hard. Just a, just a tad hard when you become an adult, just like a little smidge hard. So if you can be a kid for as long as you can, then it's something nice to hold on to. Hey, did I tell you that my band's starting to come together? Yeah, it turns out Abigail's a pretty good drummer and Sebastian seems to really want her in the band. I actually uh, did not know that he kind of had a band thing going. I mean, I knew that he did, but I didn't know that it... I thought it was already established. I didn't know it was something that was growing throughout the game. I saw that Pierre had fresh blueberries in the shop the other day. Marvelous. It smelled just perfect and firm, too. Nash, you look puzzled. I guess the hot summer air can make you, uh, lead to something a little dizzy. What? <laughs> Brain, what? <laughs> Anyways, we are here to buy the Iridium Rod. Oh, yes. 7,500, but you can attach bait and tackle to it. So we have a couple of bait uh, options for us and tackle options that we already have. So it does sink us down in money a little bit, but I think we'll still have enough money for later. Now, we could go ahead and use my Iridium Rod here. That is the most awkward spot. Ugh. Oh, we got it. Wow. Okay, nice. I don't have any bait or tackle. I should have brought it with me, but we could do a little fishing in this spot and see what we can get with our new fishing rod. We're getting upgrades left and right. It has been a good day. Oh, also, wait a dang second. Today is Demetrius's birthday. Oh, I'm so glad I just remembered that. Yeah, it is Friday the 19th, which means it's Demetrius's birthday. 
I really, really, really need to go grab a strawberry for him, give him a birthday gift. We don't want to miss out on that. And then it might actually be a good idea to check our hearts and see where we're at since we had two birthdays in this episode. We probably bumped up a level or two, but aside from that, I want to see if we're a high level, especially after giving him a birthday gift. Okay, strawberries are always my go-to when it comes to Demetrius, so let's go up and around this way. So I'm hoping Demetrius is just hanging out in here, but it seems like the the Robin family doesn't really hang out. <laughs> doesn't really hang out in the shop most days. Isn't Robin supposed to be? I guess it is 5 p.m. I was like, shouldn't she be working? No, it's definitely like off off hours, off work time. So the second place I'm going to check here is near the fountain. Demetrius hangs out down here sometimes. Where is this man? Okay, let's go check the saloon because I always forget that on Fridays and Saturdays, it's kind of bumping in the saloon. Also, we have a bulletin on the board. Looking for a red millet will play, pay a flat rate on delivery. Mm. <laughs> That's a good price. Um... I don't know if I want to accept that though. We have a lot of stuff that we're going to do the next couple days, so I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. Ah, here we go. Here is Demetrius. Looks like maybe this is a little birthday gathering. Hey, we got a new achievement as well. A present with optimal timing. Today is the anniversary of my birth. Thank you. So, I was at the store the other day and Pierre showed me a blueberry you brought in. Ah, that's wonderful. I bought it. Oh, I hope it was a delicious blueberry. Did you know that my daughter hates truffle? She finds it absolutely sickening. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night, says Pierre. I've been... Yes, 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 yes. You have been working super hard, Pierre. <laughs> Selling my blueberries to all of the townsfolk. Good evening. It's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk, says Louis. It's good to stop by once in a while and see what the latest news is. Absolutely. Any gossip? I talked to Elliot today. What about Pam? Oi, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. What about Leah? Does she have anything to say? You can use the tapper to harvest syrups and other useful liquids directly from trees. We need to get on that. We do kind of have like a little tree farm going, so uh, hopefully those grow soon and then we can put tappers on them. But Marty doesn't seem to notice that you're there. She is still looking into Mayor Lewis's eyes. What about Gus? Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. What about you, Emily? If I wasn't so busy, I'd come and help you on the farm. Interesting, interesting. But well, Gus would be upset if I had another job. Really? Kind of interesting. I, why would he be upset? I don't... Sigh. I'm not very good. Oh, Sam, it's okay. But I'm assuming Sebastian's winning at this pool game. Uh, should I let Sam win for once? Nah. What about you, Abigail? Hey, we had one of those blueberries you sold at the shop for dinner last night. I guess it was starting to go bad and my dad couldn't bear to throw it out. Unfortunately, it tasted like junk. Did you just call my blueberries junk? It was starting to go bad? Um, that's so funny because didn't Demetrius just tell us a different thing and was like, oh, I bought one of your blueberries. And then Abigail just put him on blast and was like, yeah, my dad bought your blueberries, but he sat on them for so long that they ended up going bad. And then Demetrius was like, oh no, we ate them and they were great. <laughs> Oh, Abigail is bringing the tea. That's so funny. Anyways, we are going to head back to the farm. I feel like we had uh, some good progress today. We got cows. We did tons of birthday gifting. Oh, yeah. I was going to check uh, what heart levels we're at with people. So, Demetrius, you guys, five hearts. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, Pam up there, Louis. Yeah, we're starting to get hearts with a lot of people because... Again, I've been trying really, really hard not to miss any birthdays. So that it's been important to me to try to try to gift when I can. Um, and aside from that, what about our skill levels? Look at this. We've got three that are past level five already. We're doing really good. I do need to go work on the mines. I always click on that one and then you can't click back out of it. Um, so yeah, look at this. We got Rubius and Luna as well, which is so, so fun. Yeah, I think that is uh, pretty much it. I'm going to head on in, go to sleep, and move on to the next episode. You guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of my Stardew Valley 1.6 Let's Play. Let's move on to tomorrow while I do this outro. Huge thank you to my patrons who continue to support this channel. You guys are awesome, and seriously, I'm so thankful for you. 
But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next Stardew Valley episode where we are going to take on the Trout Derby. That's going to be fun. I'm excited to see what that's all about. New 1.6 festival kind of thing? Little daily event? I don't know. We'll see what it is. But have a very beautiful, wonderful day. I hope you all are doing, doing great. And I will catch you in the next episode. Bye, guys.